Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. So last time we started exploring the corruption and began plans to fight the Eater of Worlds, which is our next boss. Not only that, we started getting a lot of equipment and materials out of the Fallen Meteor, which allowed us to have some really cool upgrades, like laser beams. So this should actually help us fight the boss that we're about to fight, because the piercing laser beams are very good indeed. Though I can't exactly say I'm that experienced fighting the expert version of this, because as I've stated before, we actually, I've had a lot of experience with the crimson, not the, not the corruption. So I'm just going to kind of head over there right now and see about setting up some kind of arena to do this with. So there's an orb down here and I don't know whether I should like make this into a place to fight because it's not very big. And I don't know if there's any other places that are gonna be any bigger though. Only thing is maybe the other area would be better, but I haven't really explored down there much. Hmm, I don't know, that's the problem. I'm gonna have to decide where fighting this guy is gonna be a good idea. Uh, I also need some platforms, which I didn't get and should have probably done that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it might not be the best, but it'll have to do for now. So, we'll see what happens. I guess. I might as well just jump right in and... Ah, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> everything's scary. It's like I've already summoned him. He's not as big as I remember. Oh, also, do I have any health potions? I don't. Oh, I should probably... Rotten Chunk. Nice. I should probably go and get some, actually. Okay, I've got health potions. I have a few buff potions that I found from the various adventures I've been on. And we're gonna try and see what we get from this as well. See if we can use it against the fight or in the fight. Might not be able to. I don't know how well this is gonna go, guys. This guy uh, might be a pushover, he might be hard. Depends on how well I do and how much I choke. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Might be a good idea. I ain't ready for this. Oh, fuck, oh, oh, go, what do we do? Hey, hey, hey. Fucking granite dude, where the fuck did he come from? Ah, oh, great, that's most of my health gone. I am not ready for this. Here we go. Oh god, oh jeez, oh man, oh. This guy's bigger than I remember. Oh. Ha ha. He was poor. The edge of the Okay. Words. I need words. Commonly, words are said during moments of times like this. And I must pierce the heavens. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. Damn it. Nope. He's just too much. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, I did so much damage to him in general though. It's just the place isn't big enough. Ah. Uh. Man, that was crazy. I got a lot of stuff out of that though. I mean, generally speaking. Oh, hey, I got a quick band of star power. Nice. I didn't even drink my buff potions. Oh, I'm terrible. He stole a gold from me as well. What a bitch. But there is good news, actually. The good news is that because we have activated the boss once, even though we did fail against the fight with him, uh, we also have a chance to prepare ourselves better and get some more items because we don't have to uh, worry about summoning him again until three more orbs are destroyed. So that means we get to explore a bit more and also see if there's a better place to fight him because obviously that wasn't the best choice. <laughs> you know what, really? The kind of scenario that we are in is the least optimal way of fighting this guy purely because of the fact that he summons on his terms like when you destroy an orb whereas if you have the item to summon him you can summon him at any point which means you can get in positions better prepare yourself for the fight 
and, you know, have a lot more things ready as well. Man, I should really look into regen potions. They're probably, like, the most useful things. I want to see if I left any gold or anything here. Nope, there's me. Rip. Rip me. I don't think there was anything else here, so... So it turns out the corruption... Oh! Hey! Okay, I wondered where this other one was going to be. But it turns out the corruption on the right isn't that great. I am actually going to place this here. I was waiting to see where this was so I could place that there. That way, I won't get so destroyed when I decide to go back and mine that. But right now, I don't need to do that, so we're okay for now. You know what? Sooner or later, we should check what's down here. Because there might be some cool stuff to find. Maybe items or enemies. But right now, I'm kind of set on trying to fight the Eater of Worlds. So, we'll do that next time, providing we can get some, some headway on this boss. If not, then obviously we'll do it after the boss. Because... That's my main priority right now. Hopefully this corruption will have a bigger area underneath, but uh I'm not holding my breath. Whoa! Ah, I forgot I already double jumped. I seriously need to work on some kind of rail system. Something similar to my single player world right now would be great, but unfortunately I just don't have it. I could probably make them though, because they're pretty simple to make. So Alright, this time. Don't be dumb. Oh, what are you? Whoa. <laughs> You're dead is what you are. Oh, that down there. That's perfect. Well, I mean, that's one of the good scenarios anyway. Where I can, like, run and, and spread out. There are also a ton of shrines and orbs here. Jesus. My God. There's a bunch of things. Whoa. All right. Fair enough. Now, you see, this is what I was hoping for last time. It's like a nice long area that just has a bunch of orbs and a bunch of shrines and it's going to be awesome. The only problem is I'm going to have to be pretty quick on trying to actually attack this guy because he can be a pain otherwise. So, Hello and welcome to Terrian's Fashion Home Designer thingy. As you can see, we've put in some lovely stairways and boards that you can walk across for a nice running experience. It's going to be amazing and easy to fight the Eater of Worlds in a place like this. <laughs> Except it's a little annoying here and there, but otherwise I think it's okay. It's just the Eater of Worlds are everywhere at all time. Or the Eater of Souls, sorry. The worlds are the ones, it's the boss that we're going to fight. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. I just have to also account for the holes I'm going to make to try and get to these orbs. So, we shall be back after a few of this is done. Orb number one gives us a musket again. All right, sweet. I don't mind more muskets. That's fine. Sounds pretty neat me. Uh-oh. Uh, I had to pick something quick. <laughs> it's like, just quick, scroll through all the items. Ah, oh, we are not going to have enough dust. Well, I remember that I have my shield on, which allows me to dash and gain speed instantly. So getting here again won't be too much of a trouble. It's just that I, I forgot I had it. <laughs> Strange plant. Ah. Okay, number two. That's... Not the right... Oh, I was trying to attack my pet orb. <laughs> I'm a stupid. Uh, okay, it's time to do this. Another... Oh, a powerful musket. So, I don't know what the difference was between the first musket I got and the second musket I got, but one of them sold for, like, way more. Even though it had no different stats, it was very confusing. I don't quite get why. But, hey, powerful musket. I will do that. Sure, why not? Yeah, that one's a green musket. The other one was not. Okay, let's get ourselves ugh, ready for this. I ain't ready for this, but hopefully. Oh, damn it. I need you to not be here, guys. Come on. Now is not the time for this. Slime, not time for you either. Why are there so many slimes all of a sudden? Like, there are tons. What happened? Is it raining slime outside and I just don't realize? Could very well be. Anyway. Nine hour potion. 
Drink that potion. Break this orb. Another musket. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. All right. So, kind of general idea here is um, kind of run and shoot. I need to get him. If I get him long, like this, I can I can do a good amount of damage over a big area, basically. So that's why I'm trying this method. Oh, he's split into two, though, so it might not go as planned. Ah. But he also drops hearts when he dies sometimes, or like when parts of him die. So I might get lucky. Ah. He's dealing a lot of damage to me, though. So I don't know. No, probably not. Damn it. Ah, oh, so close, too. Every time I'm getting really close. But I just can't do it. I need some kind of regen. I need the regen. Maybe I should focus on the potion. The regen potion. Can I even make the regen potion yet? I don't remember. Because, like... Ah, oh, man. I'm getting a lot of stuff, though. I, it's annoying. I keep getting muskets. <laughs> but, uh... Can't do a whole lot about that. Man, okay. Maybe it's fish I need to make the regen potions. I don't remember. Or is it Daybloom? It might just be Daybloom. I want to check. Because, let's check. Let's get some Daybloom. Also going to put the seeds in there. And we'll see what the guide says. Because he's going to be the one that gives us all the information we need about trying to make these potions. Hi, guide. Okay, first of all, you. What is this? How can we regen potion? Oh, that's easy! Why am I not doing this? Oh my god. That's like one of the easiest potions to make. It just requires day bloom and mushrooms. Oh my god, and I have tons of mushrooms. Alright, we'll do that. I don't know why I haven't been doing that to begin with. Ooh! Depth meter! Oh, nice! <laughs> Thanks, bet! He gave me a bat depth meter. -na 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 ah, okay. I think I'm super gutted because it looks like there's only two orbs left and I only... I, I don't. I need three. So I think I'm going to have to make the item. And if so, I'm going to still get some more stuff. Damn it! Ah, we were so close and I feel like I just was unprepared and I wanted to rush into it and try and fight the boss and I wasn't ready and I should have been ready. So, apologies for that. But I'm going to call it here because I have been recording for about an hour. So hopefully everything will be fine and dandy and we'll be ready for next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Terraria. I'll catch you next time. Throw us a like if you enjoyed. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!